Hey there, this is a response to Big Star 1000's A to Z thread, the first one. So it's actually the alphabet of my musical passion, love. Um, so a lot of people have said these are not the best records I have, but they sort of show you what I am musically, sort of. Let's just get started because there's uh, a lot. First up, it's a double album by Aphrodite's Child, 666. Um, Derek recently showed this and in his Vangelis video, and I cannot stress how much you need this album. You need it. It's astonishing prog album, but like Derek said, you know, it's just a really, really good album, period. I have this uh, Vertigo version, uh, not the swirl, but oh well, can't have it all. Anyway, it's an um, amazing album, dark at times, really groovy at other times, you know, it's a must-have in anyone's music collection. The B is playing in the background. I am such an admirer of the whole post-punk scene. This is Blurred. They're a UK band. Kind of sounded similar to the Contortions. But they were crazy, as you can hear in the background. This one's called Poppycock. And this is still my favorite album of theirs. Um, I've got a couple of albums, including uh, I don't know. I, I have to show them. I, I did show them in my post punk collection videos, but blurred. Just showing my crazy, amazing love for weird post punk. The C is something I just wanted to show once more. It's my um, LP box of Christ, the album by Crass. Slightly damaged, but you know it's and it's, it's complete. It's got a booklet with both the lyrics and a lot of information. It's got a poster and it's got two LPs in it. Um, this actually didn't cost me quite that much. It's pretty affordable, and I just love really anarchic punk, um, and this is one of the uh, archetypical anarcho-punk bands around, and I'm really happy that I have this, so I wanted to show this as part of my punk uh, section of my love for music. The D stands for Deer Hoof, obviously. This is Apollo. This is actually where my love for Deer Hoof started. This is one of the first I bought on CD back in the day. And I have, uh, I've had this for uh, some time on vinyl, it's uh, blue vinyl, I love them, they're such an amazing band, talented, fun to listen to, and musically they're so diverse and so original, so that's new. Um, I'm from Holland so I gotta have some Dutch music in it. Earth and Fire, for example, Song of Marching Children. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. Um, it's prog, but really sweet sounding and maybe a little psychedelic edges to it. Really, really good stuff. And, uh, a shame they're not that well known outside of Holland. The F stands for The Fall, this nation's saving grace, which is my favorite fall album. The Gatefold, The Fall. Again, a band that everyone should have at least something by The Fall in their collection. Uh, you know, and this is a good one. This has uh, amazing tracks on it, like Spoiled Victorian Child, and also I Am Damo Suzuki. Awesome album, you need to get it. I'm also a sucker for um, psych cash-in albums, 
like this one, Glass Prison. I love this album. This is such an amazing psych pop album. Uh, Poe Through the Glass Prison. These are all poems by Edgar Allan Poe set to psychedelic music, and they're amazing. They're truly, truly well played, well written songs. Uh, the album they did after this is a lot less, but this is really. If you love psychedelic music, you should get this. Uh, originally I did it quite differently. I was basically standing in front of my records and picking out albums. Uh, I had a hard time picking an age. So instead of standing in front of my records, I had my list of everything I have on vinyl. And it was a lot easier. Harmonia. I love this. This is great crowd rock um, from the, I think, 74. Amazing. Uh, you got some, uh, you got people from Noi and from Cluster doing music together and it results in Harmonia. It's the only Harmonia record I have and I need to get um, the, uh, the album they did after it. I think it's called Deluxe, Harmonia Deluxe. This is just amazing. I discovered this band through to a compilation CD on Mojo that Red Hot Chili Peppers put together. It was either Flea, I think it was Flea, he put um, Harmonia on there. Great choice, great, great choice. With um, like name artists, I always put the first name alphabetically, so it's not the last name. That's the reason why. Isaac Hayes is the I instead of the H. The chef, I still think it's his masterpiece. Um, double album filled with groovy, funky, awesome soundtrack songs. Uh, best known, obviously, theme from Chef. Uh, he got an Oscar for it, deservedly so. And it's, it's an amazing movie and it's amazing music. Um, alphabetized again, first name, Kevin Ayers, Joy of the Toy, a masterpiece, a masterpiece of music. This guy came from Soft Machine, but this is miles away from what Soft Machine sounded like. What you get here is a um, very sweet pop music with huge psychedelic elements in it. Almost everyone from um, Soft Machine is playing on it. You got Robert Wyatt and the complete Soft... Actually, everyone from Soft Machine is on here. So, yeah, a must-have in everyone's collection once more. You know, if you love psychedelic music, get it. If you love prod, get it. If you love music, get it. Uh, similar, it's the L. Forever Changes, Love, their masterpiece. I love every album they did, but this, oh my god, this is such a mind-blowing album. Ah, truly, truly amazing, and, you know, it's, it's a Forever Changes, oh, it changed my, my way of listening to music. Then we have the M. Can't do nothing without the Melvins. This is Bullhead. Um, I was... There was a truck driving past. I, I, at the time when I bought this, I didn't quite know the Melvins, but I was so glad I picked it up because it's really expensive right now. Everything by the Melvins. And this is just awesome. Loud, heavy, dirty music. Well played and it's just amazing. More post punk. Don't know if you can actually see it that well. It's uh, stenciled in. It's Nasmak. Four clicks. I love the, uh, the sign of the sleeve. It's very similar to bands like The Sound and Joy Division. A lot of bands came out in Holland sounding like that. And Nussmark is one of the better ones. I love, I love this band. 
this is a tricky one. I don't know if it's um, the O or the M, what it should be. Because officially, I think it's, it's uh, uh, As Mutantes. Uh, As Mutantes means, I think, the mutants. So, that's not like fish. Oh, oh well. I'm going to do it anyway. I put it on O in my collection, so. Os Mutantes, Tropicalia music from the late 60s. Highly experimental, highly psychedelic, and highly original. Uh, I read somewhere that they had to create their own wah-wah pedals, their own effects, because this kind of music was not really what the, the at the time, dictatorial government wanted. They did it anyway, they got persecuted, they had to leave the country, they went to Paris. Um, music, just pure music, love it. Um, P is for Pale Saints. Uh, I have to show this once more because a lot of people are slowly getting into shoegaze music and this band doesn't get mentioned. Everyone mentions Ride, everyone mentions My Bloody Valentine, hardly everyone Hardly anyone men mentions Pale Saints, and this is their album, The Comfort of Madness. Buy it. If you love shoegaze music, buy it. It's awesome. The Q was another one that I had quite some difficulties with, and then I thought, wait a minute, if there's a question mark on in the main title, I could put it with the Q. So. Question Mark and the Mysterious. I love this band. Um, I believe they were from Mexican descent. Uh, they're not from Mexico, but they consisted of, uh, I think, um, people with a Mexican heritage. Uh, Question Mark and the Mysterious, 96 Tears, amazing garage rock. Uh, very much like the Sonics, very much like the Monks. I like the Monks a little better, but very good, good music. Then we go to the R. I forgot the J. Oh my god. <laughs> I did forget the J. I have it there. Jellyfish. Um, I only have like a 10 inch and uh, 7 inch of them, so I'm gonna show this. It's actually the first two albums, including demos and outtakes and everything you want from Jellyfish. Jellyfish, amazing power pop band, um, heavily into 60s style music, uh, the, the way they dressed. So it's, it's a compilation, but it's not like a various artist compilation. It's a beautiful booklet here with pictures and information. And oh well, you should check them out, Jellyfish. And I think um, Invader Gar, he will testify that this is an amazing band. So. If you don't believe me, listen to him. We continue with the R. That's the one I wanted to show you. Ramones. Their debut album. Um, a classic. Again, something everyone should own. S. Sonic Youth. I've been a Sonic Youth fan ever since I heard the Goo, uh, the Goo album. At the time, I still bought everything on CD. So I'm going to show this. This is a probably bootleg kind of weird because this is actually the front side but there's no information there. So you got this one. This is actually uh, the demos of Goo. 8-track demos. Uh, these are produced by Jay Masses. They uh, sound a little different and they are in different order. But that's just what I like about it. It's colored vinyl. Uh, Sonic Youth. Great band. T is for Tad. Tad is my favorite grunge band, period. I like Nirvana a lot. I like Alice in Change. I like so uh, Soundgarden. I like Stone Temple Pilots. But I love Tad. They're heavy, heavy, heavy. They're I mean, this is the lead singer. That's Tad Doyle. He's heavy. <laughs> this guy, you, you can't see him play like lovely songs. Uh, 
they, they literally blow away the competition. Heavy sounding, black Sabbath loving, crazy, booze drinking, you know, loud mouths. That's what they are. I love them. The U is uh, unwound. This is a challenge for a civilized society. Um, just sonic youth like music, um, but still very much of their own. Underrated band. Uh, I need to get more of them by this band, but it's pretty hard to get, so must have. It's on Kill Rock Stars. The V stands for Virgin Prunes. If I die, I die. Um, again, a post-rock band, but with a big difference. They sounded just so different from the competition. Uh, Gavin Friday had a voice of his own, uh, an image of his own. Um, U2, they're a big fan of his music. Um, Bono, is probably on every solo album that Gavin Friday did, you know. But if you love you too, uh, I doubt you will love this because it's so out there. But you know, if you love music that's out there, get it. It's awesome. This is a uh, White Noise with an Electric Storm, a must-have album once more. Psychedelic MOOC music. You gotta, you gotta hear it to believe it. Really, really awesome um, album, completely created in a studio, um, just wonderful, wonderful songs, it's dark, floaty, it's, it's everything, it's amazing. Then the X, a lot of people have shown ecstasy, and I'm going to show it as well, but I'm going to show this. Again, I'm bending the rules, I don't think we're allowed to show uh, compilations. Well, this is just ecstasy compilation. It's a double album. You get Waxworks, which is basically the, set, the singles that they released in the period of 1977 to 1982. And on the back, it's Beeswax, which, as it, I mean, you guessed it, it's B sides. Ecstasy, they're an amazing band, especially the, the, this period. I love it. Later on, they, they um, added more 60s elements, which I love as well, but this is just pure awesomeness. The Y, Young Gods. I am not a big industrial metal fan, but if it's done this way, oh my god, I, I just love this. It's TV Sky, it's the album, and if there's one album you need to get by them, Oh, that's a tricky one, because uh, Le Rouge, or uh, Red Water, that's another one you should get. A TV Sky, solid album. The Z, it's a Dutch band called Zappo. Uh, si pratica lo impara a sopicare. I have no clue what I just said. That's the title. Um, this is an album I gave away at my first uh, contest. Mr. Rompert won it. Still, congratulations. And uh, I love this band. This is not their best work, but it's it's really good lo-fi indie rock music. And that's what I like as well. And this is a Dutch band, and I need to promote Dutch music. So that was the alphabet, but I have numbers to show you. Well, one. 808 State. I... I was a big, big fan of acid house music, still am, still like electronic music, and this is a band, an album actually, 90, that I still have high, high regards for. It's amazing um, electronic music that fits right into the early 90s rave culture, mixed with acid house, it's, it's pure, pure dance music. So that's my alphabet, and I'm going to start working on uh, the second part, which is basically the uh, favorite letter. So that's it. It's a little long video, but uh, I just needed to do it. Have a good one, and I'll be seeing you later. Peace.